My father says to me, Derek, why are you into poetry? Why not, you know, be into something that's more exciting, something that is interesting, something that's going to bring you all the money and then, how you doing? All the honeys, why not be into something like, I don't know, archaeology? Maybe we'll get all the girls. I don't know. Just imagine looking for something that may or may not exist while you slave in the hot sun. Now, boy, does that not sound like fun? My father's white. And I want to give him a look that makes him question what each of you slave and hot sun in the same sentence when talking to his biracial child. But instead, I put my mouth into a smile and I say, Dad, I am an archaeologist. I just never leave my room. See, in there I find bits and pieces of things that match what I am missing. Dad, poetry, where I have unearthed remains of myself that you never bothered looking for. And although I come from you, it's like we speak two different languages. Your love seems encrypted. No wonder my hieroglyphic smiles often get mistranslated. I have been drinking from the lips of denial for too long. Dad, there are days where I don't know who you are, where I feel more comfortable between my four walls because they have been there the duration of my life from the time I was being conceived to birth to even this moment. I guess you could say that they spend more time with me than you do. Question, is a father figure fact, fiction, or forgettable an answer, alliterated and avoided? Dad, you taught me well of never saying how I feel because I am proud of you is something I've learned how to say more often and on my own because I have never seen your lips attempt to teach me see Father lessons contain, here son, this is a bat, it hits the ball, not here. This is a pen and it can change who you are. Just ask any male in the audience how often they've had a heart to heart with their father. Listen for the saliva being swallowed to make up for the silence in their answer. We are taught that sensitivity is our worst nightmare at the moment. You crack open and spill raw fluids at the moment. You become disposable, that there is no Kleenex in the world to dry the tears of masculinity when really you are the mass enemy and I can relate. See, somewhere in our chamber of secrets, we grab our pens, our cigarettes, our liquor bottles, where it kills us and who need the man who deem themselves absent when we were showing alpha. Bravo, just another affirmation that is showcasing silence. I can't say that I am fine with who I am when I'm not allowed to express who I want to be because you view sensitivity as a synonym for femininity and homosexuality. Well, how many more boys in America who research how to tie a noose before getting their own collections of ties? I just want to be fine with being who I am, with telling my brothers that I love them and mean it was saying to my dad, you know, I hide the pain sometimes and having him embrace me and mean it. I don't want to hear something up anymore when there's no more fear left in the cave. It's been a month one in less than an hour and I'm only 19 but going numb is the only way that I have not to deal with this. But if it takes a poem to say that I enjoy feelings no matter how cliche and so be it as long as I can believe it, dad, I know you've always wanted to be a archaeologist slash forest ranger slash cop. Thank you for letting me believe that I can be anything in the world, but I think it's time I became more of myself. When I wrote this, I found another missing piece covered in what felt like shame. It was acceptance, something I've been missing for a long time now, so I'm not going to stand up here pretending to be a poet. I told you, I'm an archaeologist. I'm just trying to find the pieces that's going to make me feel whole.